Hi everybody, this is Mr. Sasha reading a book about Anne Frank. Now I'm in the I'm in the classroom as you can probably see. I'm in the library. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about Anne Frank. Um, and who she was and how she lived and her life. So Anne Frank was born in Frankfurt on the 12th of June in 1929 uh, and she lived in many different places so she lived she lived in Frankfurt and then she moved to a place called Aachen uh, and she lived there from 1933 to 1934 with her grandmother and sister her mother's grandmother lived there during this period, Anne's father, Otto, was already in Amsterdam looking for another house. Anne then moved to Amsterdam at the beginning of 1934. The Frank family went into hiding in the secret annex on the, um, on the Prinzian in July 1942. The family was arrested by Germans in August of 1944. In August 1944, and was sent to the Westbrook camp. Like most of the Jews in the Netherlands, she stayed there until September of 1944. Then she began living in Auschwitz. At the beginning of September 1944, Anne and her family were taken by a train to the concentration camp in Auschwitz. And Auschwitz is one of the concentration camps that killed many many Jews um, during this period of time. At the end of October 1944 Anne and her sister were transferred to the concentration camp in Bergen-Belsen. They both, they both died in this camp in March of 1945. So <coughs> she was very young when she died. She was born in 1929 and died in 1945. So I'll let you guys do the math in terms of how old she was. So, uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about her birthday. It says, um, you can't see it because it's the other way around because we're, we're filming. It says, the best birthday present. Anne woke up early at six o'clock in the morning on Friday, 12th of June. This was quite, understandable because it was her birthday. She was 13 years old. She could hardly wait to get up. Anne lived with her father and mother and sister, Margaret. He was three years older than her in a newly built area of Amsterdam. In 1942, it was wartime. The Netherlands had been occupied by the Germans for two years. The Frank family was Jewish the Germans discriminated against Jews and persecuted them. So to discriminate against somebody is basically not to, um, you're not treating them equally or kindly like you would any other person. You're, you're behaving in an unrespe unrespectful way because of who they are in terms of their religion, in terms of what they look like or where they're from. So this is, what, this is what it means to discriminate and to be prejudiced against someone. And this happened a lot in, uh, in the World War of 19, uh, in the World War One, And as it says, many Jews were um, discriminated against and were killed as a result of this discrimination. It was becoming increasingly difficult for Jews to lead ordinary lives. But Anne was not thinking about that on her birthday. At seven o'clock, she went to her parents' room. Then the whole family gathered together in the living room to unwrap the presents. That day, Anne was giving a lot of presents. Books, jigsaw puzzles, a, um, a brochet, sweets, and many other things. Her parents gave her a diary that morning. The diary had a hardcover with a red and white checkered pattern. Anne was delighted with it. It was her best present. She had never had a diary before. 
Anne had many friends, both boys and girls, but with them she, t she talked only about everyday things. Anne decided that she would pretend her diary was her very best friend, a friend she could trust with everything. She called her Kitty. On the first page of, of her diary, Anne wrote, I hope I shall be able to confine in you completely, as I have never been able to do, do in anyone before. I hope that you will be a great support and comfort to me. And that was in 12th of June, 1942. On the inside of the cover, she stuck a photo of herself and wrote next to it, gorgeous photo, isn't it? Anne started writing in her diary two days later on Sunday, 14th of June. Of course, she had no idea that soon afterwards her life was to change completely. For more than two years, Anne wrote in her diary about all the things that had happened to her. On that day, she had no idea that millions of people throughout the world would read her diary. From, Anne, from Frankfurt to Amsterdam. So this is when she moved again. Anne Frank was born in Germany in the city of Frankfurt. Um, on the 12th of June, 1929, her father, old Frank, took this photograph. As you can see, there's a few pictures there. Um, the next day, Anne's mother was called Edith Frank Hollander. Otto Frank was a keen photographer. He took many photos, especially of his children, and started a photograph album of uh, for Anne. The members of the family soon came to visit and admire the new baby. Of course, Anne's grandmother also came. Otto Frank took a photograph of her together with her two grandchildren. Anne had an older sister, Margaret. Margaret was born on the 16th of February, 1929. In this photograph, she was three years old. So there is a picture of her and her sister right there. Um, the Frank family lived on Machenberg 307. It was the middle of the summer, just after Anne came home from the hospital. A group photograph was taken on the balcony. Anne can be seen on the laps of Miss Dassing, the maternity nurse who came to help when she was born. Miss Frank is standing behind her to the left. So this is this picture here. You can see it. That's a picture of her when she was born with a nurse and her family in her community in the neighborhood she lived in. And it says, uh, Frank is standing beside, behind her. The left is Kathy, the, the Frank's family housekeeper with Margaret. There are also three girl neighbors who came to see Anne on the photograph. When Anne was born, her parents had been married for four years. They were married on the 12th of, the, of May, 1925, in the synagogue in Aachen. Otto was 36 years old and Edith was 25. The newlywed couple went on their honeymoon to Italy. They stayed in several places, including San Remo on the Mediterranean coast. Otto's mother was Alice Frank Stern. His father had died in 1909 when Otto was only 20 years old. Otto Frank was born and grew up in his Frankfurt, um, in Frankfurt. His family had lived in Frankfurt for generations. Edith Hollander was born in Aachen, very near the Dutch border. For over two years, Otto and Edith lived in Otto's mother's house. But in autumn of 1929, they moved to the house of Markenbergweg. Otto, Edith and Margaret lived on the first two floors in the right half of this house. So this house here, they lived in the second floor. Uh, they moved because they wanted a house with a garden. Margaret was 18 months old at the time. So there were many children living in the neighborhood. 
Almost every afternoon, children came to play with Margaret in their garden. Um, so this picture shows Margaret and her uh, and Anne in a in a in a bath. Oh, that's actually like a little tin can. This photograph shows Margaret on the left. Anne wrote that that date later in in her photographic in her photograph album. At the time, she was still in her cradle. The Frank family were liberal Jews. This means that they observed the traditions of the Jewish religion. Though they were not strict believers, Frank, the Frank family was German, spoke German, and read books in German. Reading and studying were very important to the Otto Frank family, not only for himself, but also his daughters. Okay, this picture here shows Anne Frank in in her li in her library. Um, let's see, uh, reading and studying were very important to Otto Frank, not only for his for himself but also his daughters. And this so this photograph that I just showed you shows Margaret and uh, in front of the bookcase. So let's see. Well, now we're going to talk a little bit about Adolf Hitler and his influence on the world at that time. Um, but we can just focus a little bit on Anne for a moment. Papa, with his sprogs, were the words that Anne wrote in her photograph album. Anne and Margaret were crazy about their father. They had their own pet name for Otto Frank. Anne, Margaret, and Edith usually called him Pim. Later, Anne often called her by his by his name in her diary. Before going to bed at night, Otto often told Anne, uh, often told Anne and Margaret stories which he made up himself. These were usually about two Paulas, two girls who were both called Paula, the good Paula who obeyed her parents, and the naughty Paula. Who got up to all sorts of mischief. At the end of March 1931, the Frank family went to live in Gafoga Strass. This was even better and more healthy for the children. There were lovely pa paths to walk in the neighborhood. There were also hills where they could go tobogganing in the winter. Anne and Margaret continued to see their former neighbors, but also soon made new friends. In the summer of 1932, Margaret was six years old. Anne was just three. It was March 10th, 1933. The worst of the winter cold had passed. Anne and Margaret are seen wearing knee-length stockings, though they were to they were although they were still uh, though they still had their thick winter coats on. The Frank family are on their way into town to go shopping. Otto Frank took his photograph at the famous square in the center of Frankfurt. The winter there had been many. The winter there had been many changes for the Frank family and for all of the Jews in Germany. So it's six weeks earlier in January, Adolf Hitler had come into power. Otto and Edith were very worried, but they did not show it to their children. Three days later, March 13, 1933, there had been elections in Frankfurt for the municipal council the nazi followers of hitler had won many votes they, was, they celebrated the victory in front of the town hall not far from the Hortzbitz, which is the which is the uh which is this which is center um in the frankfurt city center they raised their arms in hitler salute screaming Hail Hitler, hail Hitler, down with the Jews. The Nazis swarmed into the town hall 
and raised a red flag with a black SWAT sticker on the facade. The mayor was forced to resign and one of the Nazis took his place. The police did nothing. These things were happening in many towns in Germany. So this is when things started to get really bad in Germany. Things were very bad in Germany in 1929, the year in which Anne Frank was born. There was a great deal of poverty and unemployment. Most Germans were very dissatisfied. dissatisfied. The German National Socialist Labour Party attracted increasingly numbers of followers. The leader of this party was called Adolf Hitler and his followers were called Nazis. Hitler said that the Germans were really a sort of super race. He thought that true Germans were the best, strongest and most intelligent people in the whole world. That is why Hitler thought that the German people had the right to conquer and enslave other nations. He promised the German people a beautiful future. On the night of the 9th and 10th of November in 1938, Nazis throughout Germany destroyed synagogues and Jewish shops. They set fire to many buildings and smashed windows. That night is known as the Klit Kristallnacht. Uh, in the days that followed, about 30,000 Jews, men and boys were rounded up and taken into concentration camps. Why was it that so much poverty and unemployment in Germany happened at that time? According to Hitler, it was the fault of the Jews. He maintained that Jews were dangerous. He screamed that all Jews were bad, mean, and dishonest. By saying this, he was confirming a feeling of anti-Semitism, another word for the hatred of Jews. Hilt, Hilt, uh, Hitler did not invent anti-Semitism. It existed long before Hil Hitler came into power, and it still exists today in our own time in Germany, Great Britain, and other countries. Many Germans rather liked the idea that they were better than all other people and it was quite convenient to blame the Jews for all of the problems. Uh, let's see. Uh, in 1933, Anne and Margaret stayed with their grandmother in Aachen, together with Edith Frank, their mother. They no longer lived in Frankfurt. The Frank family had to decide, had decided to leave Germany because Hitler was taking more and more measures against the Jews. Jews in Germany were afraid of the future. The Frank family decided to move to the Netherlands. Otto Frank received an offer to start a new company in Amsterdam. These photos were taken uh, by a photographer in Aachen. They were probably sent to Otto Frank, who had already been in Amsterdam for a few months to start the business and to look for a new house. All right, guys, so uh, I'm going to stop right here, but I will continue to do some more recordings of who Anne Frank was and how she lived her life and the everyday diary of who Anne Frank was. I'll speak to you soon, guys. Have a nice day.